Alright, <clears throat> I know it's been a little while since I posted a video. This video I just goes through a little bit about the assembly of uh, this version of uh, my Mendel. So I want you to notice that um, this is a pull chain version. Uh, there's a set of spacers that go on this bar right here. Let me show this like this. And then this right here I've gotten questions asked about this. Um, this right here, yep. let me uh, make sure you can see it okay. Uh, this right here, this uh, sprocket or whatever, fits on top of the motor assembly. Um, motors you'll get will probably have a narrower uh, shaft, but you push that down and if it's not enough, if it's not able to fit on, then you can un unloosen these uh, these nuts. They don't need to be there. Uh, so <clears throat> let me take this apart and then put it back together again and explain some things for this assembly. So I don't have uh, nuts on the bottom of this. Um, you may not need to put them. There should be nuts for you to, to put in here, but uh, the uh, holes should be tight enough that these these should be able to fit in without loosening so and I apologize for if I move around too much I don't know where I put my stand so I've been getting questions on how to assemble this and I did some stationary pictures some stills and I put it on my website uh, people still had some questions so uh, as steady as I can without having my uh, tripod. Let me show you how this is assembled. It's real simple. So three long. This piece right here, uh, it has a pl space for a place for a, a, a bearing. And it just, this assembly right here uh, is uh, held in place by a coupler nuts and uh, some uh, small bolts from underneath. Notice the uh, motor can go in and out. Uh, let me put that back. Um, there's a there's an inset in here, a little lip for this motor to sit into, and this bearing right here comes on and off. So when you get these kits, I'll try to have these assembled for you. It's a sprocket, and then in here is an assembly that locks on to the um, uh, to the pull chain and then you put this on top and then you uh, there's a set of holes for this right here and you just kind of there you go force that in and then you uh, screw these down and then this is in place so this is for the x-axis now uh, it's a little clunky on this side but it allows for less parts which I've been going for and uh, uh, it's actually fairly strong uh, the there are some things that if I had to do it again I would do a little bit different but uh, Uh, one of the things that I need to let you know is yeah, you, you need the motor to go up enough so that this chain doesn't slide up. This is high enough. You want it high enough that, that this chain doesn't slide on on this at all. So notice the motor freely turns. Yeah, there's some stuff I probably want to scrape away from in there. So the, these all the all these parts are um, let me go back here. All these parts are machined. Uh, they're all, some of them you might want a knife or touch up. Some of them have a little bit of swarf, but they're, they're fairly durable parts. Um, <clears throat> anyway, going back here, looking at the, the pull chain, uh, uh, the other thing that I wanted to show you is how it hooks up in the front. So you, uh, There we 
go. So, uh, this is the front of the unit. Um, notice that uh, there's tubing here and that uh, this is wrapped around and the tubing's pulled over. It holds in place because it's locked in between, the balls are locked in between uh, each other and, and it holds into place. And what this is, is this is this is locked and then this is locked with a rubber band that's folded four times around. So it's four times strength, like four rubber bands, but it's one rubber band wrapped around, really strong rubber band. And then the center of the rubber band is set right on the nut. There's a nut in there, and then this is screwed down. Um, and that allows this to have a little bit of give. It doesn't need much. But um, it, it allows it to, to give and flex a little for when the chain stretches. Uh, the, the when the chain ages. So <clears throat> the other thing uh, that I'm going to go over with this one is that um, you have the uh, circuit board in the bottom here and uh, uh, this is unconnected right now. I'm, I'm resetting this in. But uh, you want to leave enough room so that uh, it one doesn't crash this board and two, um, you you want to make sure that uh, not necessarily uh, on this side, but you want to make sure the pulleys are free to move. There's no wires in the way when I when I built this. These wires sometimes get in the way, and uh, I plan to redo that before I assemble this working again. I've been doing software tests all week, so <clears throat> whatever. So this this will move back and forth. Right now it's hooked up to the motor, so. Uh, but, so this is the front. Uh, uh, what else did I want to show? Oh yeah, I wanted to show this side. So, there, this pulley right here. Uh, this kind of scrapes this bar barely, but you want to pull this out and you want to tighten that down. Uh, this, uh, this is how this, is, this side is assembled. So there are, there are this side has some extra pieces the other side doesn't have. Notice, uh, you'll be able to look at that. Notice it's bolted. The, uh, the, the, uh, oops. notice that on this side the bolts are this way, and on this side the bolts are that way too. So it's very important. Uh, for this side it doesn't, yeah, I mean, you, can't move it out because you have this part right here that's held into place. But for this right here, it matters because <clears throat> you have that extra piece that's uh, uh, out here. And I have a still video, or excuse me, I have uh, some pictures that show how this part's assembled. And you can slide this up and down a little bit to adjust it, but it should be fairly tight in place. And again, you want to make it so that it's just barely high enough that this doesn't scrape. So uh, the way this works is uh, the pull chain back here applies pressure to this and pulls it, keeps this straight. And then this right here is bent down. That allows tension. And so the front, uh, the chain goes down a little ways. You can kind of see that. Uh, and the, the back just kind of slides across the back uh, of there. Now this is, <clears throat> this is completely plastic. Uh, see if I can go underneath here. Uh, you see that uh, little side shaved off there. That's so that this shaved off most of the way. That's so that this goes into this part but won't go through all the way. And then it's held in a place on top. And then there's a, 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 a small thin block that has a screw in there. Oh, excuse me. That, that allows this tubing to stay into place. And uh, there's there's a, a nut in there that locks the tube into its position. Anyway, it's enough for this video. Um, I'll show more uh, later.